Namaste friends. My name is Amit Garg. Welcome to my channel VedicAstroAmit.com. If you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications. I've noticed that a very uh, less percentage of my subscribers, they're getting the notifications. So please hit the bell icon so you'll be notified for any new videos or shorts. So today we'll talk about the transit of Jupiter, the Guru, Brihaspati, uh, through the sign of Taurus, Rishabh Rashi. And this is a, a big, major transit. A lot of people have been waiting for this. So it's still a couple months out. Uh, but we can set things in place, we can set the foundation so that we can get the most benefit out of this auspicious transit. So it's going to be from May 1st, 2024 through May uh, twenty uh, May 14th, 2025. So let me uh, share the screen. And so first we'll talk about the general impact, uh, what this transit means for all the, the 12 uh, rising signs. So then we'll talk about the specifics, how it impacts specific signs. So first, this section, this is applicable to everybody. Okay, so first, uh, let's understand what Jupiter signifies and what Taurus signifies, and then uh, how this placement will impact all of us, uh, everybody. Uh, first of all, Jupiter is the planet of uh, expansion. Jupiter is ether element space. Jupiter is hope. Jupiter is wisdom. Uh, Jupiter is the guru, the Brihaspati. Uh, so all the higher wisdom and rituals and uh, dharma and, uh, you know, the traditional wisdom, all of that is Jupiter. Jupiter is expansion. Uh, so that includes uh, children, expansion of our lineage, right? Jupiter is financial abundance. Jupiter is uh, the belief system. So all of that good things is Jupiter. Now let's talk about uh, the sign of Taurus. Taurus is the the Vrishab Rashi is the sign of uh, financial abundance. It's the sign of security, uh, material comforts. It's the strength, the stability. It's an earth sign. It's connected with agriculture, uh, the food, cooking, uh, gourmet food, uh, all forms of arts. Uh, it's ruled by Venus. You know the things that we enjoy uh, in that give us pleasure. So seeking pleasure is Taurus. Uh, enjoyment uh, of good things in life is, is Taurus and family and protection, all of that is Taurus. So, so what does that mean? So we combined Jupiter in Taurus. So what, what would that signify? What would that um, tell us? So Jupiter in Taurus, uh, first of all, there'll be focus on material growth and abundance uh, because Taurus is all about securing material possessions and abundance in life. And, and Jupiter, uh, wherever Jupiter goes, you have expansion of that area of life. So Jupiter will naturally uh, expand our focus and also uh, eventually we'll have more material growth and abundance. Uh, a lot of opportunities for financial growth and prosperity. Um, and it, so increased focus on accumulating material resources. So that's gonna be uh, a one major theme of this transit for everybody. Then there'll be focus on stability and uh, increased security. Uh, people will seek, uh, they'll seek to expand or enhance their sense of security. Uh, and that could be through financial means, you know, financial security or creating a stable uh, home environment. So there's a lot of focus on home environment, home security in Taurus. So that will be enhanced as well. So people would like more stable homes, uh, you know, better environment in their home. Um, and then there'll be uh, appreciation for beauty because Taurus is ruled by Venus, which represents uh, all forms of art and aesthetics and beauty and looking good, all of that. Uh, so Jupiter in Taurus may amplify uh, our appreciation for aesthetics and art and finer things in life. So there may be a desire to uh, even indulge in sensory pleasures. And, uh, you know, we, we would like to surround one, uh, ourselves with uh, beautiful things, beautiful environments, beautiful people. So that'll be the focus as well. So we'll appreciate the finer beauty in, in life. Um, and then there'll be uh, practical wisdom because Jupiter is the planet of wisdom. And Taurus is a very practical, it's an earth sign, right? So it's very practical on the ground right now. What's in it for me? You know, what's good for me? Uh, the deity for, uh, for Taurus is... Nandi, right? The bull, 
the vehicle of Lord Shiva. And Nandi is only interested in things when it's, uh, you know, it sees the benefit. It, otherwise, it just sits there and, you know, lazy. Um, so, so what that means is uh, there'll be practical wisdom in terms of, um, you know, finances. So we'll make sound financial decisions for the long term. Uh, we, we'll put things in place for our financial growth. And so there'll be a, a combination of spirituality and material um, aims. Um, and then we'll also enjoy nature. Taurus is very much connected with agriculture, with food uh, that we grow, with the farms. So people may uh, love, enjoy spending time uh, in nature and also things like gardening and actual farming, agriculture, all of that will be. Uh, it'll give them sense of joy and fulfillment to be close to the nature. And you can also take it as a remedy, you know, that if while Jupiter is in Taurus, if you spend more time with nature, doing things in the farms and agriculture, uh, gardening, uh, that'll give you joy. That's a good remedy for this transit. Uh, there'll be enhanced resilience. You know, uh, Taurus is a very strong, stable and resilient sign. A lot of strength, determination. And Jupiter's transit there will enhance those qualities. It'll amplify uh, you know, individuals' uh, efforts to be more strong, resilient. It'll give them hope and this kind of like the the blessings of the guru to be more strong, believe in themselves, uh, and they'll they'll pursue more material success, um, and they'll feel very very strong, materially and spiritually. There may also be some uh, indulgence because Taurus enjoys uh, sensual pleasures all kinds of, you know, like enjoying food, art, uh, relationships, all of that. So with Jupiter in, in Taurus, uh, there'll be tendency to indulge in the, in the pleasures of life, things that give us, uh, you know, make us happy, um, give us pleasure. Uh, so as I said, including food, comforts, and other sensory experiences. So we should be careful about that and not to do that uh, to, a, to a very uh, extreme. Okay, so, so that is Jupiter in Taurus. Now, while in Taurus, Jupiter will actually be trines to Ketu as well. So we'll look at the charts uh, for all the 12 rising signs. But in general, Jupiter will be in trines to Ketu. So that will add a very, very different and interesting energy to Jupiter in Taurus. So few things that will be uh, you know, applicable to all the rising signs, and then we'll see the specific impact of it for each of the 12 signs. But, but in general, Jupiter trines to Ketu in Taurus. First of all, there'll be a massive spiritual growth. See, Jupiter and Ketu, they're the most spiritual planets. Ketu just wants to go within. Ketu is all about spirituality. And Jupiter is expansion. So Ketu and Jupiter, anytime there is influence of uh, combined influence of Jupiter and Ketu in the chart, that means there'll be a lot of spiritual growth. So people will value real, deep spirituality, not just superficial knowledge. So we're not talking about knowledge. We're talking about uh, deep spiritual wisdom because uh, Jupiter is digested knowledge. Jupiter is wisdom, not just knowledge. Um, and Ketu uh, wants to uh, go within and, and deep spiritual knowledge again. So seekers uh, and like tantrics and, you know, traditional wisdom, that'll be the primary goal and theme that people will be focusing on. Um, next, there'll be uh, a lot of philosophical insights because Jupiter is the guru who likes to discuss and, you know, spread the dharma. So uh, Jupiter represents wisdom, philosophy, uh, you know, higher higher wisdom. And so trining with Ketu, uh, it'll bring insights um, into, you know, uh, philosophy and spiritual aspects of life. Um, so there'll be, uh, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be very profound and deep discussions with your Sangha. So spend time with your gurus, with your Sangha, um, having discussions. Um, so you'll get insights into uh, philosophical aspects of life. Uh, then Jupiter trines to Ketu will also um, lead to release of uh, attachment. So there'll be a lot of detachment uh, with the, because Jupiter in Taurus, just Jupiter in Taurus may actually expand your, uh, you know, material pursuits, your uh, clinging with the clinging with the material comforts in life. But Ketu's influence, it'll release those attachments. Um, so 
uh, people will, there'll be a lot of letting go of like unnecessary baggage, both in terms of material and emotional aspects of life. So that'll lead to a more uh, sort of liberated and spiritually aligned way of living. So the way of living will change. This one year will actually make us uh, release our attachments. We'll uh, let go of our unnecessary baggage, our troubles, our, uh, you know, things that, that are not serving us. Uh, so that applies to all aspects of our life. So that'll be very, very positive influence. Um, next, we'll also have a deeper understanding of our own karma. So people will actually go towards, uh, you know, Jyotish astrology uh, to understand uh, where they've been, to understand their karmic map, their karmic journey, right? So karma, because Ketu wants to take you back, in fact, take you back to the previous lives. So people may have visions of their previous lifetimes. They may discover what they've done in the past lives and how they can, you know, get rid of all their karmic burden, karmic repercussions, um, karmic results in this very lifetime. So they'll go very deep because Ketu uh, rules, you know, very three very, very uh, key nakshatras, um, Ashwani, Maga, and Mula. Maga is all about going back to the lineage. Uh, Mula is, uh, is, in fact, going to the root of the matter. Mula is literally the center of our uh, Milky Way. So, so Ketu will make us go within and understand our karmic journey uh, and the karmic repercussions. Then for energy healers, for intuitive healers, this will be a very uh, sort of period like a period of awakening. Uh, because throughout the, this period of one year, Jupiter and Ketu will be having, a, you know, sort of this trinal aspect on each other. And so there'll be a lot of intuitive insights. So energy healers, clairvoyants, um, you know, all these hypnotherapists will have a tremendous progress in their spiritual journey. Um, and so there'll be, you know, heightened sense of, you can say, intuition, inner guidance, uh, you know, so this will lead people to to make decisions based on uh, deeper insights and spiritual understanding. So so the decisions that people make, the, the things that people do uh, will be coming from uh, some higher source. Uh, so they'll be guided from within. Some deeper insights will be guiding them, not just, so they won't be making any superficial uh, decisions without thinking through the consequences. Um, and then also there'll be a lot of optimism and faith in uh, deep spirituality. So people's faith in spirituality will return uh, because Jupiter is a planet of optimism and hope and faith. Uh, and uh, so, and Ketu is all about spirituality, right? So this will bring back the our, our focus and belief uh, in our, uh, you know, deep spiritual roots. So people will be very optimistic about going back to, you know, spiritual ways of doing things. Um, all of this, like yoga, Ayurveda, uh, Jyotish, energy healing, will get a boost. Uh, and in fact, this will just make people uh, interested again in these, uh, in these uh, deeper sciences of healing, uh, these Vedic sciences or any form, not just Vedic, any form of uh, intuitive, deep spiritual healing and sciences, people will have a renewed faith in all of these. So that is what this uh, Jupiter in Taurus will look like. It'll be in trines to Ketu, and that'll be from May 1st through uh, 2024 through May 14, 2025. Uh, so it'll be a very, very auspicious, very spiritual uh, period. And it'll also include, you know, uh, we'll get material uh, success as well. So we'll balance our material um, aspirations with the spiritual goals um, in a very big and and in a way that's very profound and wise and practical at the same time. So now we'll look at all the 12 uh, signs one by one and how this energy uh, that we learned here in the intro section, how that will be impacted for each of the 12 uh, signs, both rising signs and 12 rashis, the moon signs. So first we'll look at uh, the sign of Aries. We're talking about Jupiter's transit through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, uh, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So one full year. Um, and for Aries, uh, Jupiter is going to be in the second house. And we'll talk about that. Uh, before we uh, look into that, please uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell icon uh, to get the notifications. 
uh, and please watch the intro section. That's very, very important. Uh, we've talked about the, the general uh, implication of Jupiter in Taurus and it'll be trines to Ketu. So what that means for all 12 signs, so please watch the intro section before you, you begin this section. Uh, so, so what's happening for Aries? Uh, Jupiter is in the second house here and uh, Jupiter is trines to Ketu. Uh, uh, Ketu is in the sixth house for Aries, sign of Aries. And Jupiter rules the ninth house and the twelfth house for, for the sign of Aries. And Jupiter uh, from the second house, it's aspecting the fifth and ninth aspect, it's aspecting the sixth house and the tenth house. So that's the full picture. So, so what that means is, uh, in addition to all the things we discussed in the intro section, which you should um, listen the, to that first. So there'll be a lot of financial opportunities uh, because for Aries, uh, Taurus is the second house of financial wealth, of family wealth, right? Uh, so uh, Jupiter can, uh, in Taurus, it can bring a lot of significant financial opportunities. Um, there'll be a, an expansion of resources, uh, a lot more income, uh, and more financial projects and endeavors, uh, you'll work on accumulating more financial wealth. Uh, so basically this will boost your financial stability uh, and you'll get more, more wealth. And that'll be, uh, you know, in a very systematic planned way uh, and, and not in a, you know, not in a, if Jupiter in, in Taurus um, will actually give you expansion uh, that could be like a lot of hope and, you know, big picture. But then Ketu's influence will make you grounded and uh, focus on spiritual aspects as well. Uh, next, this will give you, for Aries uh, sign, uh, this uh, transit will give you a lot of um, grounded ambitions because Aries uh, people, they're very ambitious and dynamic and they just want to, uh, you know, act. They just want to do action. Uh, but Jupiter and Taurus uh, sitting in the second house, it'll... Uh, provide a very grounded and practical approach uh, to their ambitions, to their energy, to their, uh, you know, dy dynamic personality. So they'll be more grounded. They won't be just, uh, you know, going um, at, at 100 miles an hour all the time. Um, they'll be, uh, of course, increased focus on material comfort uh, because, uh, you know, Aries people, in naturally, they seek excitement and adventure um, and action and all of that. But Jupiter and Taurus will tone that down. Uh, you know, they'll be shift towards, uh, they'll value material comforts. N naturally, you know, uh, Aries ruled by Mars, they're not so much focused on, you know, comfort and stability and things like that, but Jupiter and Taurus will enhance that. They'll, it'll basically uh, make the, the second house uh, very prominent. Um, so they'll feel satisfaction in creating a secure and comfortable environment uh, for themselves and their loved ones. So this will uh, tone down this aggressive, possibly aggressive or, you know, super uh, like adventurous uh, nature of Aries people. Um, uh, in their decision making also, they'll be very uh, focusing on material resources and, you know, how we can uh, work on creating a comfortable life. Um, I mean, they're they're very decisive, Aries people. Uh, they're very, uh, like, have a quick decision-making. But this transit will make them uh, think through things like, am I doing enough for my family? Uh, do we have enough, you know, do we have plan in place uh, to secure financial freedom for the family? Do we have enough resources? Uh, so whatever decision we're taking, do we have enough resources to execute that decision? So that, that um, wisdom will be there which is sometimes, a lot of times, actually, it's lacking for Aries people. Um, in their self-expression also, uh, they'll have very uh, practical wisdom uh, because Jupiter is a planet of wisdom. Um, and so Jupiter in Taurus gives you very uh, tangible, you know, practical wisdom. And uh, Aries people, they're very, very self-expressive. Mars is all about, you know, go out and do the thing in the world. Uh, but with Jupiter and Taurus, it'll give them a wiser attitude, a more grounded attitude towards how they express themselves in the world. Um, and, and they'll be focusing on, uh, you know, wiser aspects of it, not just showing off or doing things aggressively out in, in the public. Um, in a way, they'll learn uh, the value of patience, right? Uh, because of their impulsive actions, they're known for um, you know, making, sometimes making mistakes. 
because they may act without thinking. So they learn, uh, they'll cultivate uh, pa patience. Uh, so Jupiter in Taurus will encourage them to be patient and take a more uh, measured approach to, to achieving their goals because uh, Aries is very much focused on achieving goals. Uh, so they'll be steady, they'll be patient. This energy uh, of Taurus will guide them in a wise manner. So that's uh, uh, that's going to be uh, for Aries sign. And, you know, it's also the ninth Lord sitting in the second house, right? So there's, there's a connection between uh, focus on the words of your gurus, or you can work on combined speaking engagements with your gurus, okay? Uh, second house is about the food and diet. Ninth house is the temples and the uh, holy places. So you may actually uh, give food donations at the temples, or you may actually eat more uh, the prasad, uh, the spiritual food at the temples. Uh, you may also think of serving your sangha, um, and you may attend more lectures with your gurus, spend more time with your gurus, um, and you can, you know, partner with your sangha, partner with the gurus uh, on some financial endeavors as well. Second house is all your uh, accumulating financial wealth, and a ninth house is the sangha and the gurus. Um, so your gurus, your father, your sangha. Uh, all of those may help you grow the uh, family wealth. Uh, you may also uh, think of going on a pilgrimage with your family or with your guru. So that's the ninth house uh, and the second house. Um, and actually, you may have uh, gurus visit you uh, literally or uh, your family, your home. Uh, so that's the ninth lord visiting the second house. And then we also have, of course, Jupiter is uh, not just the ninth lord, it's also the twelfth lord uh, that's visiting the second house. So twelfth house, uh, it's all about it, uh, investments. And so second house and twelfth house combination connection means absolutely great time to put in some money, you know, make investments for the long term. Okay, And in those investments or projects, uh, a lot of foreigners may actually come and help you uh, with your financial growth or with your investment. So you could invest in future. Uh, you could invest in like, you know, uh, so this is not a, a financial advice at all, but, uh, you know, there is good uh, energy. There is good uh, combinations for you to think about how you can make investments in foreign countries. Um, you may actually have uh, established links, communication links with the other worlds of existence, like uh, through energy healing, clairvoyance, all of that. Um, and even spoken words, like, you know, some people are channeling the energy of uh, people from other worlds. So that is going to be heightened. There's a lot more people will, um, you know, uh, come out as uh, channels or healers who are channeling the, the words of people from other uh, planes of existence. Um, and this may also mean uh, your speech will be more introspective, right? Because uh, 12th house is all about introspection, second house is the speech. So you'll uh, you'll have more spiritual words to say. You'll use more, you know, uh, you'll you'll be very introspective. You'll you'll think before you speak, uh, speak, which is not usually a trait of Aries people, but this will really help you. Um, and then also this whole, uh, you know, transit and this whole while, Jupiter is aspecting your sixth house and your 10th house. Uh, so you have Ketu sitting there. So excellent time to focus on uh, uh, some kind of health routine, uh, which is, you know, very spiritual in, in general. So it could be more like ritualistic routine or doing yagyas every day, uh, you, you know, doing uh, some of uh, carrying on somebody's lineage from the past, right, from your gurus, things like that, helping other people. Uh, but also, uh, it's a good time for you to think about for, because it's the both the sixth house and the tenth house involved. Sixth house is the job, tenth house is career. So maybe think of uh, getting into a very spiritual kind of a profession, career, or in your current job, how you can incorporate more spirituality. And we're not just talking about like superficial spirituality here. This is deep spirituality, really traditional and authentic and ancient kind of wisdom that you can bring into your workplace, um, both if you have a nine to five kind of a job, which is the sixth house, or in your business profession career, uh, or if, if you're in the management roles, you can introduce that to your um, to your uh, employees, to your uh, other co-workers. So, so excellent um, transit for many, many things 
um, this is a very auspicious and a very spiritual transit that will impact a lot of areas of our life because Jupiter has three aspects, one, five, and nine. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, please listen to the intro section first uh, uh, if you haven't yet, uh, because that talks in general about Jupiter in Taurus. Next, we're talking about the sign of Taurus. Uh, we're discussing the Jupiter's transit through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. Uh, this is going to be a long transit and a very major transit. If you haven't already, please listen to the intro section. That is very, very important uh, to understand the energy of Jupiter in Taurus and that too uh, in trines uh, with Ketu. So all about that uh, we have discussed in the first intro section. Please uh, listen to that. Uh, and if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications for any new videos or uh, shorts that I uh, that I uh, send out. So uh, Jupiter in Taurus. So Taurus, obviously, uh, it's it's going to be in your Lagna or Rashi, right? Um, and very, very significant transit for all 12 signs, but especially for Taurus, obviously, Jupiter is going to be in your Lagna. Fantastic period uh, for a lot of things that we'll discuss. Um, so there'll be, first of all, there'll be expansion in your self-expression. That's because first house uh, you know, is your identity. It's yourself. It's your personality, uh, the way your logical mind works. So you may feel uh, an extra, you know, sense of confidence, optimism, enthusiasm, uh, and just being more uh, comfortable in your own skin, in your own being, believing in yourself. Um, you know, so you may also be more outgoing or positive and, you know, more um, just, uh, uh, you know, uh, comfortable with, with everybody else outside. But internally, uh, you will feel really positive about yourself. So there'll be expansion in, in the way you express yourself. Your self-expression, your personality will get a boost. Um, you'll feel comfortable with a lot of things in your life, uh, starting with your own personality, your own being, uh, who you are. And uh, Jupiter will also help you discover who you, who you are. And then you'll be very comfortable uh, being in, in that uh, persona. Um, there'll be, uh, you know, uh, growth, uh, personal growth and development, uh, because Jupiter expands everything. Wherever it goes, uh, it, it just expands. Uh, so a lot of self-improvement, uh, personal development, uh, you know, new opportunities um, that will give you a, a sense of like personal growth. So not just like discovering yourself, it'll also be more like, you know, growth of your own personality, self-development. Uh, and then uh, Jupiter, whenever Jupiter sits in the Lagna, it it pretty much it's like uh, Jupiter, give, uh, the guru, giving the blessings to the entire, the whole chart. So your health will improve. So your physical well-being will be, uh, will improve because uh, Jupiter uh, is, is going to be impacting your uh, body. Lagna represents our physical body in general. So you'll be motivated to adopt, you know, healthier habits, better habits, more exercise, you know, better diet, all of that, because just because Guru is guiding you, sitting on your Lagna, it's affecting your entire chart. Uh, and Taurus, anyway, it's associated with the physical body. Uh, and so Jupiter in Taurus, in the first house, there'll be a focus on health and well-being and better health and, uh, you know, physical well-being. Um, Jupiter also, whenever it's in the Lagna, the person feels more optimistic, more positive uh, about futurists, especially. Uh, and they'll be more open to uh, like new possibilities. Uh, they'll be receptive to accepting all the uh, all these gifts and the you know miracles that the universe sends our way. Uh, right, so they'll attract more positive experiences, more opportunities, expand their horizon, all of that. Uh, in a way, so they'll attract abundance because, see, Taurus itself is the sign of financial abundance. Jupiter will expand that, and then both of them sitting in the first house that will not just expand that, that will, uh, in, in a way, you know, attract uh, financial abundance for you. Um, and so, and then also it's trying to get to so that you'll have 
uh, wisdom in doing all of that. Uh, and so you have an eighth lord sitting in the lagna, right? So eighth lord sitting in lagna, not just any lord. It's it's Jupiter we're talking about. It's the guru. Uh, so there could be a lot of interest in occult sciences, uh, mystic uh, mysticism, energy healing, Jyotish, Ayurveda, karmic theory, all of that. Hidden secrets of the universe. Uh, a lot of psychic abilities. Uh, and this may also reveal a lot of secrets of the universe to you, or it may also reveal a lot of secrets uh, about yourself. Uh, but also, you know, be careful, there could be a lot of secrets that may be revealed that you didn't want to, right? So so it, it, it's the whole, uh, the whole eighth house will be kind of out there, uh, you know, coming to the first house, the Lagna. There'll be a lot of uh, transformations um, eight houses transformations at a very deep level. So life changing uh, things may happen. Life transformations may happen. Um, and also, you know, this is time to face uh, big challenges of your life, as in you'll be open to transforming and changing things that are not working. Um, and of course, a lot of focus on healing and psychology and esoteric wisdom, all of that. Uh, and you'll also be dealing with uh, shared resources and other people's resources and wealth. You may become like a wealth manager, things like that. Um, you may also get inheritance. Um, and then also Jupiter is the 11th Lord, right? So not just the 8th eighth, eighth Lord. Jupiter is also the 11th Lord sitting in Lagna. So that's a classic combination for it's one of the Dhana Yogas means, you know, a combination for financial gains. Uh, so you'll have financial gains. Your desires will be fulfilled. Um, you'll expand your friends and social circle. And all of that, what, what I've been talking about, all of that will have a spiritual inclination as well because Ketu is in trines to Jupiter, okay? So you will you may have more success through uh, expanding your network. There's a lot of opportunities for networking, uh, a lot of innovation and new technology because the 11th house represents innovation. Um, and there could be unconventional thinking that is 11th house. Uh, and also you may actually gain from uh, affiliation with some organizations and groups and uh, you know all these uh, large parties or organ organizations foundations so so a lot of positive things a lot of financial gains and material gains and also discovering yourself expansion of yourself as uh, personal growth and development better health physical well-being optimism uh, you'll attract the the financial abundance so that's all happening for the sign of taurus whether it's rising sign or the moon sign um, uh, uh, during the transit of Jupiter over your Lagna, which is the sign of Taurus. So if you haven't already, please uh, first listen to the intro section that talks about Jupiter and Taurus and uh, being trines to Ketu. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications. Next, uh, we will discuss the sign of Gemini. Number three sign. So this could be a rising sign or your moon sign, which means ascendant or uh, Rashi. We're talking about Jupiter's transit through the sign of Taurus. That's going to be over one year, uh, from starting from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. And so this is a very major transit, uh, which uh, is going to affect a lot of areas of our life. Uh, we'll see all of that. Uh, first, uh, please listen to the record, uh, intro section, which talks about Jupiter in Taurus and trines to Ketu in general for all the 12 signs. And so this section will be more specific to Gemini, but you need to understand the energy of this transit. Uh, and if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell icon because I've noticed a lot of uh, my followers that don't have uh, the notifications coming in. So please um, uh, press the bell icon. So Jupiter is going to be in your 12th house for Gemini people. Okay. Uh, Jupiter is... Uh, so from the 12th house, Jupiter will be aspecting your 4th house and your... Eighth house. So the trinal aspects of Jupiter will be on your fourth house and eighth house. And for Gemini, Jupiter is the seventh house lord and the tenth house lord. Okay, so what does all that mean specifically for Gemini? First of all, uh, there'll be a lot of inner growth and spirituality. Focus will be on the trinal, uh, you know, the three moksha sthanas, the fourth house, eighth house, and twelfth house. Uh, Jupiter in the twelfth house 
uh, you know, focus on inner growth and uh, spiritual explorations, like finding out the deeper secrets of the universe, uh, you know, deeper connection to your own self. Uh, you might find yourself uh, drawn to uh, like spiritual practices, energy healing, astral travel, especially. That's the 12th house and uh, a lot of deep meditation. A uh, great time to do go on a retreat, especially in a foreign country. A uh, good time for self-reflection. A uh, good time uh, to give donations because 12th house, Jupiter in the 12th house may actually, uh, you know, lead to expenses. So taking care of that, uh, one way of taking uh, care of that could be through voluntary expenses, which is uh, charity donations, especially to the pundits, to priests, to uh, temples, uh, and, and especially in a foreign country. So that's all a wonderful, great remedy. Um, and then uh, a wonderful time to go on a retreat, uh, especially, you know, on a solitude like uh, Vipassana kind of a retreat where uh, you're not um, having any contact with other people, not even like eye contact, right? Uh, so it, this is the time for introspection uh, and just retreat from the external world. Um, so, and there there could be like moments of solitude, it doesn't have to be like a 10 day, you know, silent retreat. Uh, you could just go for a few hours or just few minutes also to recharge and you know get, gain spiritual insights so you could do at your home also because jupiter is uh, aspecting your fourth house as well um, so and then uh, uh, this is the time to explore your subconscious mind i mean 12th house represents uh, things that are not on the surface so things that are connected to the subconscious mind so jupiter in taurus uh, this is the time for deeper, uh, you know, exploring your deeper emotions, gaining insights into uh, hidden aspects of your psyche, uh, right? So th that could lead to personal healing and growth and a lot of progress. Um, and then Jupiter in the 12th house, you may actually get some behind the scenes support. Like, you know, all of a sudden you may get support from uh, things or areas or people you may have never expected, right? Uh, from unseen sources or like blind support kind of right so people may not even reveal their identity but that's like a, a gift from god or universe right um, or even from your own subconscious mind like you may get messages from the ancestors you may get divine intervention uh, right so trusting your intuition and paying attention to the sub subtle uh, uh, messages from the universe cues from the universe uh, will be very very beneficial so be very very careful be very alert and meditative and introspective focus on all the 12th house matters you'll get a lot of blessings and messages uh, that'll help with both spiritual and financial uh, material progress um, this may also in a way release a lot of like limiting beliefs that you may have had uh, for a while uh, a lot of like maybe self-imposed restrictions that i'm not good enough i don't deserve this i'm not worthy uh, or, you know, this is not for me, things like that. So Jupiter and Taurus in the 12th house, uh, especially trying to Kithu will actually expand uh, uh, your mindset. Uh, there'll be more optimism and hope and, and all of that. So, and Jupiter is the seventh Lord, right? So it's the seventh Lord sitting in the 12th house. That means a lot of foreign connections. Uh, there could be a possibility of a foreign relationship. Uh, okay, so relationship, uh, also relationship with a spiritual person, that is 12th house. Uh, or there could be some secret relationships as well. Um, and you may have to sacrifice in your relationship, you know, so that's 12th house losses, uh, literally could be loss of relationship, but for the highest good. Um, and a possibility of like long distance to re relationship, uh, or you may even avoid relationships because that's the 12th house. And seventh Lord in the 12th house, there may be like escapism or avoidance of relationships. Okay. Uh, but there will be a lot of spiritual growth through your relationships or could be like a, a intercaste or multicultural marriage happening uh, or relationship uh, taking place. Uh, and then also Jupiter is the 10th house ruler. So that's all about your career and all of that. So there are you know, chances, opportunities of career in, in a foreign land or foreign affairs. Um, you know, like uh, foreign services, uh, things like that. Uh, so you may also think of how you can spiritualize your career, like bring in more spiritual aspects to your career, the current work that you do. Um, there may be a lot of work behind the scenes, right? So like secret services, things like that, um, or uh, charity, you know, service at your work. 
um, as I uh, said, maybe international business travel, uh, but also there could be some challenges in uh, your public image or public recognition. You may actually go behind the scenes. Uh, so be careful about that. Um, but good time for like, you know, spiritual retreats through your company. You know, you can encourage your your company to do that or if if you own your business take your your whole company your your team for a spiritual retreat especially in a foreign country or uh, go on a foreign assignment send people to foreign assignment so that'll be very fruitful and and wonderful uh, and do like a lot of selfless service uh, help people at your work uh, help them be a guru be a coach be a consultant for people at work uh, that's really good remedy coach them on their career path, coach them how to grow uh, in your company. That'll give you, that'll boomerang. You know, that'll give you rewards. In turn, will make you more successful in your own career. Next, we'll talk about cancer sign. We're talking about the transit of Jupiter uh, through the sign of Taurus uh, from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So this is a one year transit a uh, very auspicious, very, very powerful transit. Uh, if you haven't watched already, please um, uh, watch the intro section. It's very important. Uh, we talk about Jupiter, we talk about Taurus and trying to get through all of that. And now this section will give specific details for Cancer. Uh, so for Cancer, Jupiter is uh, sitting in your 11th house in Taurus, right? And it's trying to get through. And Jupiter is the ruler of your sixth house and your ninth house. And sitting in the 11th house, Jupiter is aspecting your uh, third house and your seventh house. So that's uh, the full picture. So Cancer uh, sign. So first of all, Jupiter in the 11th house, uh, there'll be expansion in your social circles. Um, you know, expansion of uh, positive influence of um, people uh, in your life. Uh, so you'll have more relationships, uh, more friendships, acquaintances, um, and connecting with new people who share similar interests and goals uh, as you. Um, and then uh, your desires will be fulfilled. Uh, 11th house is our desires. And Jupiter here, especially uh, a lot of your financial desires or you know monetary desires, um, they'll be fulfilled. Uh, and in, in fact, some of your friends may help you with your uh, fulfillment of your desires and aspirations. Uh, so your friendships will be very supportive. You'll you'll gain a lot of friends who are very, very supportive, more wise uh, Jupiterian, right? Like a guru, like a consultant helping you every step of the way. So you'll, you'll develop friendships which are good, genuine, and um, not superficial. Um, and they won't be all uh, totally commercial or money-based either because there is also influence of Ketu there. Okay. Um, and then you'll uh, have a lot of networking opportunities. Uh, you'll be in contact with a lot of people naturally, um, but you'll be grounded and, and those networking opportunities will, be, uh, will not overwhelm you. Uh, you'll be able to sift through you know, what's real, what's not, and then focus on uh, making connection with the uh, with the groups, uh, participating in events, uh, doing like shared projects with other people. Okay, um, so those things will bring in financial gains. It'll be very good financially rewarding. All of your social networks, connections, uh, groups, uh, they'll bring you uh, financial gains. Um, you'll make more investments, business opportunities. So within your social networks, all of that will be very positive financially. And also uh, that'll have a spiritual bent as well because it's the Jupiter and Ketu we're talking about. Um, and then we have uh, Sixth Lord sitting in the 11th house. So there'll be gains uh, through health, maybe some health related projects or gains in your health. So you may develop some health routines. Uh, you know, you'll make a lot of progress. Uh, you may do that with your friends, social network. Uh, so essentially con combining the networking and your health. Um, your uh, Some of your conflicts may get resolved in friendships. The sixth house is our conflicts and 11th house is friendships. So you may resolve some of the old conflicts uh, with your friends within your social networks. 
Um, and then you'll also do health conscious social activities. So your social circle, social activity, net networking, those may revolve around uh, doing health conscious events and activities. Uh, you may also do um, service, volunteer work. Uh, so those could be one of, one of your big goals, like 11th house's desires and aspirations. So you may have big aspirations, uh, which are you know connected with service, service oriented goals. Um, and then you'll uh, you know attract more you know, wellness focused friendships, people who are interested in wellness programs and uh, taking good care of your health. Uh, there'll be gains in your work and employment because sixth house is the job that you do and 11th house is the gain. So there'll be financial gains uh, from your work. Um, and then so there'll be a lot of, uh, you'll be balancing the health and your desires. Uh, that's the big theme of sixth lord in the 11th house. And then we also have the ninth uh, lord in the 11th house. So that means gains from higher education, uh, or you'll make good progress in higher education. Uh, there'll be uh, expansion in friendships that are, uh, you know, based on philosophy and um, higher wisdom. Um, so people who are interested in uh, in deep philosophy, who are interested in dharma and wisdom, uh, sangha, all of those uh, kind of friendships will flourish. Uh, and then you'll also have gains from travels. Uh, ninth house is long distance travels. Uh, and so you may gain financially uh, from those travels. Uh, you'll meet uh, supportive teachers. Uh, you know, your your network will be more like gurus and sangha and, and people who are supporting you. So all of that's overall a really good time for cancer. Um, and, and their home buddies, uh, you know, they'll expand their network, a social network that will bring in financial gains as well as spiritual, um, you know, progress. Uh, spiritual focused activities that will bring financial gains as well. Um, they'll bring good health, uh, improvement in your employment, improvement in relationship with your gurus, with your sangha, um, and give you a lot of philosophical uh, insights. So that's overall uh, the energy for the sign of cancer uh, for the Jupiter's transit through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14, 2025. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and please hit the bell icon as well so you can get the notifications. Next, we'll look at the sign of Leo. We're talking about Jupiter's transit uh, through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025 for one full year. Um, this is a major transit. Uh, a lot of houses, a lot of areas of life are affected. Um, and uh, please watch the intro section first. If you haven't already, that is very important. It talks about Jupiter, talks about Taurus, talks about trines to uh, Ketu. And so Jupiter is sitting in your 10th house for uh, Leo. And 10th house, uh, we'll talk about that. And uh, it's trines to, uh, from 10th house, it is uh, trines to Ketu. So there's big influence of Ketu um, on this, uh, on Jupiter. And for Leo sign, uh, Jupiter rules your fifth house and your eighth house. And sitting in the 10th house, Jupiter will aspect your second house and your sixth house. So that's the overall uh, picture for the sign of Leo. Uh, so first of all, Jupiter is sitting in the 10th house. Uh, there'll be big uh, you know, advancements in career, uh, opportunities for career advancement, recognition, success, um, you know, uh, so you might be rewarded for your efforts and achievements. Uh, and then uh, there'll be a positive public image, a 10th house's public image recognition. Um, you know, it'll enhance your reputation, your public image. Um, people may perceive you in a positive light and you could receive acknowledgement in the society, in the community. Uh, you'll also expand your professional network that's Jupiter sitting in the 10th house. And that network will be also uh, spiritually focused, not 100% not focusing on financial gains uh, or material things. It'll also have you know, wise spiritual inclination to it. Um, and it'll bring financial success also uh, through your career. So your, your business, your profession, your work, you'll have, it'll flourish. 
and you'll have financial rewards uh, as a result of your professional uh, hard work that you've been doing, putting in, in into your business, into your work. Uh, you'll also have a lot of uh, leadership opportunities because we're talking about the Leo, sign of Leo, right? Um, so Leo rising or Leo Rashi, um, they are natural leaders. And Jupiter in the 10th house, it'll bring opportunities for leadership roles and positions of authority uh, within your uh, professional sphere. So your charm, your charisma, and your confidence, it'll be uh, very influential in your uh, pro professional life. So then we have the fifth Lord sitting in the 10th house. So there you could find a career in creative fields, uh, in creativity, art, you know, any, any kind of creative fields. Uh, you may get recognition uh, for your creativity. So let's say you've been doing some creative work. Now you'll get the recognition. Um, and then you'll have, uh, you may start some companies uh, or, uh, you know, some creative projects. Um, and then your, uh, you know, work will uh, be very, uh, you know, enjoyable for you. So your passion and your work will be aligned. And then there'll be success in speculative ventures. Uh, so you can take calculated risks. Um, and then um, there could also be career in education. Fifth house is also education. Um, so all of those things are related. And then, of course, your uh, children may help you in your profession or your children's career may flourish. Uh, you may be doing work with your romantic partner. That's fifth house and the 10th house connection. And they may help you in your career. All of those things uh, with the fifth Lord sitting in the 10th house. And then eighth Lord is sitting in the 10th house. And that's Jupiter in Taurus, uh, a trines to Ketu. So a lot of transformation in your career, a change. Literally, you could change jobs. Um, so, or you could have a, a very transformational career as in, uh, being a coach, uh, therapist, or a you know healer, uh, there'll be a lot of interest and involvement in research and occult sciences. Um, you could have interest in psychology, a therapy, uh, and then there there'll be a lot of uh, revelation of secrets. Secrets will come out in public, or you could work in secret services. Uh, that kind of a career, FBI, CIA, things like that. Um, and then also there could be career in in investments and shared resources like you could be managing um, other people's money uh, that's one of the uh, careers uh, with the connection of eight thousand and ten thousand uh, and there'll be interest in life and death uh, that's the eighth house a lot of change transformation churning um, and but that'll be all for good that'll be uh, guided by the guru jupiter uh, and the influence of ketu who's always trying to send you uh, signals to go within and be very spiritual. So that's the overall picture for the sign of Leo. Um, and, you know, some caution, you know, some things uh, to be careful about is um, your ego in your profession, in your work. So you'll be acting as a leader, you'll get recognition as a leader, uh, being a Leo rising or Leo Rashi. Uh, but careful about it because Jupiter expands everything, right? So there could be like inflated ego at work in your profession. So that's one thing you need to be uh, careful about. So that's uh, overall for the sign of Leo. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, and please do um, click on the bell icon so you can get the notifications. Next is the sign of Virgo. Uh, we are talking about the transit of Jupiter through the sign of Taurus uh, from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So one full year. Um, and so for Virgo, as you can see here, Jupiter is uh, going to be in your ninth house. And it's going to be trying to Ketu. Ketu is going to be sitting in your Lagna. And so that's a very, very uh, welcome transit for Virgo because Jupiter uh, Ketu is in your Lagna. That could be difficult, uh, but Jupiter will stabilize things. Uh, so and Jupiter rules your fourth house and your seventh house, and and sitting in ninth house, Jupiter is in fact uh, aspecting your lagna and your uh, ninth house. So it rules fourth house and seventh house aspects the lagna and the ninth house and the fifth house, and sitting in the ninth house. So that's the full picture. Um, before watching this section, please watch the intro section. That's very important. Uh, we've talked about the Jupiter. We've talked about. Taurus, and we've talked about the trines to Ketu. So that's the foundation. 
Uh, and now and then you can uh, watch this so if you haven't already uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel and also uh, click the uh, bell icon so you can get notification so sign of virgo um first of all jupiter is sitting in the ninth house there'll be expansion in your uh, in your higher education in your knowledge in your wisdom uh, more association with gurus and sangha a more association with your father you'll get guidance from your father um, there'll be more travel opportunities uh, you'll, there'll be desire for travel and exploration um, and uh, you know opportunities uh, will be you'll, you'll find opportunities while you're traveling on your journeys uh, that will broaden your horizons uh, you know whether it's physical travel or you know journey through your mind and spirit and energetically or through your meditation you're traveling uh, but there'll be a lot of spiritual growth uh, you know Taurus is a very grounded and practical sign and Jupiter in Taurus will expand uh, your, uh, you know, it, it, you'll find uh, spiritual growth in a very tangible and realistic manner. And especially with Jupiter sitting in the ninth house, that's what it does. Jupiter is the Karaka for the ninth house. Um, you know, you may find a deeper connection to your uh, belief system uh, and a, a practical application of philosophy, uh, psychology in your everyday life. Um, and then there'll be uh, you know, cultural expansion. Like you, you'll uh, you'll be drawn to different belief systems and cultures. Uh, the way of thinking uh, will broaden. You, you'll broaden your perspective on a lot of things, um, and you could also be doing a lot of teaching and sharing yourself, uh, sharing of wisdom. Uh, you know, Virgo uh, sign uh, individuals. They're often very detailed oriented and analytical. With Jupiter in the ninth house. Uh, you may feel inspired to share your knowledge and experiences with others uh, through teaching, writing, or other forms of communication. So, so this is going to be a fantastic transit for you to, to both gain higher wisdom and share with others. Be a teacher, be a coach, consultant. Um, and then so you have the fourth Lord sitting in the ninth house. So very strong connection between home and spirituality. So you'll bring uh, spirituality to your home and you'll bring home uh, to your uh, uh, spirituality. Uh, in other words, uh, you know, you will be a very spiritual in your place of residence, but also, uh, let's say you are traveling to a temple or some someplace, uh, you know, with the gurus, or you'll feel at home with them. So the connection between home and gurus and your belief system and your sangha. Um, and you may have spiritual upbringing, like if we're looking at the chart of a, a young person, very young person. So th there'll be big influence of spiritu spirituality in your home environment. Um, and there, there may be like a lot of education and coaching and, and the wisdom from a guru coming to your home. Um, you, or your family may be interested in, uh, you know, getting... Uh, wisdom from your guru so you may invite a guru to your home uh things like that like you know conducting yagyas and inviting a priest uh, regularly in your home um and you may travel with your family uh, for let's say pilgrimage um, and then you'll also have a new interest in finding the roots of your family lineage uh, okay uh, you may actually teach your own family members or some of your family members may, may start teaching and coaching and being a consultant, a guru. Uh, so overall, very good placement for harmony in your family. It will bring a lot of spiritual insights and inclination and spiritual activities in your home, in your family, in your home environment. Uh, same thing with the seventh, uh, with the with the relationships because Jupiter is also your seventh lord. So seventh lord sitting in the ninth house, uh, there'll be focus on uh, developing spiritual partnerships. Uh, you may travel with your partner. Ninth house is long distance travel, uh, and then uh, uh, you may develop partnerships uh, that have a broad perspective. Um, you may, you know, there's possibility of getting married. Uh, with a person who's very wise. Uh, so expansive relationships, uh, relationships with a sense of purpose, uh, you know, that are based on deep spiritual philosophy uh, and, and could be even religious marriages, things like that. So, so all of that. So overall, uh, sitting here in the ninth house, Jupiter is bringing a lot of positive aspects to your 
4,000 and 7,000 meters uh, because it'll be aspecting your Lagna. Uh, and ninth house is the house of gurus and belief system and learning and Sangha, all of that. So, so a lot of positive shifts will be happening because Jupiter has been in your eighth house for, for a while. Uh, so it'll give you, uh, you know, eighth house gave you expansion in terms of having very deep spiritual transformations. And now uh, it's kind of like your bhagyo that will be there. So ninth house is the house of luck. So Jupiter sitting in your ninth house will, um, uh, you know, you'll have uh, a lot of good luck now. The luck will shine upon you. So uh, there'll be a, this will be an excellent transit for Virgo people. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications. Next, we'll talk about the sign of Libra. We're talking about Jupiter's transit uh, through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, listen to the intro section. Very important. We talked about Jupiter. We talked about Taurus and we talked about Ketu that, um, being trans to Ketu. So very important to get that uh, basic picture and then come to this section. And also, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you can get all the notifications for new videos. So for sign of Libra, could it, it could be rising sign or it could be moon sign. Uh, Jupiter will be sitting in your, or transiting through your eighth house. And it'll be trying to Ketu sitting in the eighth house, trying to Ketu in the 12th house. Uh, so for Libra people, Jupiter rules your third house and your sixth house. And sitting in the eighth house, Jupiter will be aspecting your fourth house and your twelfth house. Uh, so the the Moksha Trikona will be activated. Um, so that's the full picture for Libra. Um, so first of all, there there could be financial gains through partnerships. Eighth house is the house for shared resources and joint ventures. Um, so Jupiter in Taurus may bring uh, financial gains through partnerships investments or shared assets uh, with your partners. Uh, so there'll be collective uh, collaborative efforts uh, with, with other people. Uh, those could bring in uh, financial gains. Uh, secondly, uh, it's the eighth house we're talking about and it's the sign of Taurus, which is financial abundance. So um, eighth house is change and transformation. So there could be transformational growth uh, you know, Jupiter in the eighth can signify a period of change, transformation, and growth, especially concerning shared resources and intimate relationships. So those areas may see transformation, they may see growth. Um, you may experience uh, like personal and emotional growth uh, yourself through very deep and meaningful connections with others. So not just yourself, you'll be connecting with others as well. Um, eighth house Jupiter may also uh, improve your intimacy with your partner, uh, you know, very deep connection uh, with, with your partners. Um, and then, uh, of course, you'll be interested in, uh, you know, deep occult sciences, mystical matters, uh, philosophy, energy healing, astral travel, all of that, because you're both a 12th house and 8th house are activated. Uh, okay, so like metaphysics, hypnotherapy, astrology, all, all the other spiritual practices you you would want to you'll be very um, inclined to learn those subjects and deep dive into those um, and there'll also be you know Jupiter in Taurus of course will bring in financial wisdom like your expansion of your finances uh, but uh, with a more a very grounded approach uh, to to sharing your wealth and it and um, and then Jupiter is your third house ruler sitting in the eighth house, right? So so for third house uh, sitting in the eighth house, that could mean uh, this may bring financial gains to your siblings or this may bring financial gains to you through your siblings, okay? Um, and other thing is your efforts will be rewarded with financial gains. Third house is the house of efforts. It's the parakram, courage. Your courage will be rewarded financially. Um, and a third house is also a desire. So you, you may have more desires uh, of doing both, you know, spiritual progress as well as material uh, gains. Um, there'll be improvement in your communications. Your communications will be very deep uh, and not superficial. Uh, you'll learn new skills, especially around financial management, 
new financial skills, great time to learn financial skills. Um, and then a lot of information, uh, focus on information, that's third house. Um, and then your short distance travels will be very fruitful. Um, let's say, you know, you have clients within the city, so, or you have some events, you could join some, uh, you know, conferences, events locally. Uh, so short distance travels will be very fruitful and rewarding. Um, and then uh, there'll be positive, uh, you know, uh, change, positive uh, developments with respect to your close friends, with respect to your neighbors, um, but also uh, there could be a change of residence because third house represents, it's the 12th from the 4th. So there could be a change in residence as well. Uh, so Libra, and also then we have a sixth house ruler sitting in the eighth house, right? So that's kind of, a, a, it, it's a Vipreet Raja Yoga. So sixth house uh, ruler sitting in the eighth house, uh, that means you're, you'll overcome your obstacles. Um, there may be like, you know, your inhibitions about financial gains and stuff. So you'll overcome the enemies uh, or the, it could be inner enemies. You could be your own enemy, like your mind, uh, the shadripus, the six weaknesses. So those uh, things, obstacles, your enemies, all of those you'll overcome uh, and, and you'll gain financial uh, growth and, and spiritual growth as well. Uh, sixth house and the eighth house also change in your health routine, the way you approach your health. Uh, could be change in your job, uh, uh, your employment. There could be, uh, uh, and also expansion, not just change, it's also expansion because Jupiter in Taurus is this abundant, expansive energy. Um, and then uh, also sixth house is uh, service to others. So you may actually find, uh, you know, doing a lot of things for other people that may change and shift your financial uh, situation. Um, and also uh, very, very spiritually rewarding. So all of that uh, is for the sign of Libra. Uh, see, Jupiter touches a lot of areas um, anyway, and then it's trines to Ketu. And so lots of areas of life will be impacted. They'll all be very, very positive because Jupiter uh, is now going to be in the sign of Taurus. Uh, it'll bring st stability uh, to your finances. It'll bring improvement and growth in both spiritual and uh, financial aspects of your life. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel uh, and hit the bell icon uh, to receive the notifications. Next, we'll talk about uh, the sign of Scorpio, number eight sign. So this could be your Lagna or Rashi. We're talking about Jupiter's transit through the sign of Taurus. Uh, that'll take place from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So one full year, Jupiter is going to be transiting through the sign of Taurus. And for Scorpio people, that'll be in their seventh house. So Jupiter uh, is in the seventh house. Uh, so before we uh, talk about Scorpio, uh, if you haven't already, please listen uh, to the intro section. It's very important. We, we talked in detail about Jupiter. We talked about Taurus. We talked about the uh, trinal aspect of Ketu. Um, and also, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications. So for Scorpio, what's happening is uh, Jupiter is transiting through your seventh house. It is in trines to Ketu. So we'll discuss the influence on your seventh house of um, trinal aspect of Ketu. And uh, of course, for Scorpio, Jupiter rules your second house and your fifth house. Okay. And uh, sitting in Scorpio, I'm sorry, sitting in um, seventh house, Jupiter is going to aspect your third house and your 11th house. So that's the full picture. So Jupiter is in the seventh house, uh, in the sign of Taurus. And so that all means there'll be expansion of your relationships, in your relationships. Uh, that includes one-on-one -on -one partnerships, both personal and business um, partnerships. So expansion means uh, could be multiple also, but a lot of opportunities. And those friendships and uh, not friendships, those partnerships will bring in financial gains as well, because it's the sign of Taurus we're talking about. Okay, Those partnerships could be uh, very uh, with wise people. Uh, you know, they will be based on 
a spiritual foundation as well because Ketu is in transit, uh, is in trines, and Jupiter is the planet of wisdom. So uh, this year will give you a lot of partnerships that will, uh, you know, will be based on spirituality. They'll be based on, uh, you know, um, long term planning and thinking. Um, they'll be based on wisdom. Um, they they won't be any superficial uh, partnerships. You'll be you won't be interested in those. Uh, they'll be very <clears throat> stable and secure because Taurus is the sign of stability and security. They could be uh, with uh, literally beautiful people, uh, and also they could be with people who are interested in um, you know arts and uh, dance and all the fine things in life. Uh, so those will be very high quality partnerships, meaning they'll be uh, based on a, on a, you know, on wisdom, based on spirituality. Um, and you'll be very, very uh, strong and resilient throughout this year, especially when it comes to your relationships. Okay, um, you'll be committed and you'll have a positive outlook. You'll have faith and optimism uh, towards your relationships. So not only uh, you'll have faith and optimism and positive outlook, you will get actual results. You, there will be expansion in your partnerships and relationships. Uh, you may also develop partnerships based on your intuition because Ketu is intuition and Ketu is in trance to your seventh house to Jupiter. So all of that means you'll have guidance, you'll have wisdom, you'll have the blessings of the gurus uh, to enter into partnerships that will be very good uh, spiritually based partnerships and uh, that will help you grow financially okay uh, now jupiter is uh, the ruler of the second house and the fifth house as well so both are connected with uh, with the money also and jupiter uh, will bring in a lot of financial abundance um, so second house ruler coming to the seventh house means uh, you may actually develop family wealth along with your partner. Okay, you may do speaking engagements with your partner. Okay, so overall, good uh, financial progress along with your partner and uh, working on your family wealth. Okay, um, and this is a good time when you can actually uh, set and uh, specific diets. Uh, focus on your eating habits, focus on the foods that you eat, um, all of that. Uh, and you can do that with your partner, like be committed towards eating sattvic food with, you know, make commitments and promises uh, along with your partner, okay, with your spouse or or even your business partner. You could do some things or even some projects related to the food industry. Secondly, the fifth house ruler is sitting in the seventh house and that's Jupiter in Taurus. So that means abundance of creativity. You'll be very creative in making money. So you'll have financial growth uh, through creative projects. Um, your romantic partner may also help you a lot uh, in financial growth. Uh, your romantic uh, relationship may actually turn into a long-term commitment or even marriage because Jupiter is the planet of uh, making things legal. Okay, so in other words, you may enter into a marriage, you know, relationship. Okay, uh, fifth house is also our children. So this is a good time uh, to involve your children in your, uh, you know, financial projects, how you can make money or, you know, start some projects or, or work with your children. Um, and also, overall, a uh, good time period for, uh, you know, expansion of uh, the, your children may actually progress themselves. Uh, they'll have progress in their uh, career, in their finances. So they'll make progress in making money. Okay. So all of that happening while Ketu is in transit, that uh, is in trance, that means uh, not only you'll have blessings of the guru, but you will also not have just purely financial goals. You'll have uh, your spiritual progress in mind as well. Okay, um, and also Ketu will make you get detached from your, you know, 
uh, longings or uh, your you won't have so much attachment with money or with relationships or with children or with family wealth things like that it won't be like super uh, you're not super attached with these things uh, these things will uh, flourish you'll have progress you'll uh, you'll make money uh, you'll grow financially but with a detached attitude that's what ketu will do so that's a very good thing okay so that's the overall impact of jupiter's transit through taurus um, for scorpio if you haven't already please like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications next we'll talk about the sign of sagittarius uh, we're talking about jupiter's transit through taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So one full year, uh, Jupiter is going to be in the sixth house for Sagittarius rising or Sagittarius moon sign. Lagna or Rashi both uh, can watch this. Uh, before we dive deep into the Sagittarius uh, specifically for the sign of Sagittarius, please uh, watch the intro section that uh, is very important. We talked about Jupiter. We talked about Taurus, we talked about the trinal aspect of Ketu. Uh, so watch that section before uh, you continue. And also please like, share and subscribe to my channel um, and hit the bell icon if you haven't already um, so you can get the notifications. Uh, so sign of Sagittarius. Okay, uh, It's uh, obviously ruled by Jupiter. So your lag we're talking about the transit of your uh, Lagna Lord or the Rashi Lord, right? So Jupiter will be in your sixth house. And from here, it'll be trines to Ketu. Okay, so this will have a, a trinal uh, relationship with Ketu. So they'll be influencing each other. And then Jupiter rules, of course, your Lagna and your fourth house. So Jupiter is the Lagna Lord and the fourth house sitting in the sixth house or going through the sixth house, tr transiting the sixth house. And sitting in the sixth house, Jupiter will be aspecting your second house and your 10th house. So that's the full picture. So that's what's happening. So now let's discuss uh, what will be the impact. Jupiter in the sixth house will give you wisdom with respect to your health. It'll give you wisdom with respect to your job. It'll bring expansion in your finances through your job. You may pick up some health-related projects or products. Uh, you can work uh, on making money through health-related ventures. Uh, this will bring... Um, stability and security in your job in your uh, in your work okay uh, you may develop some uh, art related work uh, or, or you know get a job uh, in art related fields or food related fields taurus is all about food so jupiter will make that happen jupiter's transit through the sixth house will make that happen you'll be very strong and resilient um, in your job uh, you'll be strong in making decisions and, and doing hard work for your health. You'll have a lot of optimism and faith with respect to your health. Um, and also, this is you will actually do a lot of volunteer or, or uh, service to others. Uh, Jupiter in the sixth house will bring you that kind of wisdom and hope and optimism to help other people, not just focus on your own uh, self, especially with the trinal aspect of Ketu. Okay. So Ketu is in trying. So that will uh, give you uh, this connection with um, or sort of detachment from finances or material, um, material aspirations. Uh, even though you'll get financial um, growth, you'll have a lot of um, success. You know, your finances will improve, will expand, will grow. At the same time, you will not be super attached to those. Okay. And Ketu will give you uh, intuition in all of these th things that we've been discussing you'll have good intuition to pick a good job you'll have good intuition to uh, focus on your health um, and also here in the sixth house jupiter will help you uh, you know deal with your enemies in a very uh, sophisticated in a very wise manner okay so now jupiter is also your lagna lord so that means your entire focus will be in the sixth house matters 100% your mind, your logical mind will be thinking about uh, ways to improve the sixth house in a very sattvic way, Jupiter and Ketu. And so you'll be committed to your health routine. You'll, this is a perfect time to start a new daily routine. Or if you already have one, uh, this is the time that will give you the strength, resilience to stick to it. Okay. 
Um, and, and so the Lagna Lord will give you all the wisdom and uh, good energies because Lagna Lord is always a benefic planet for you. Okay, And then it's also the fourth Lord. Fourth Lord sitting in the sixth house. That means uh, you could uh, plan some things around your home renovation or uh, investment in real estate and also a good time uh, to do some things together with your mother. Um, and those things will bring financial growth. Uh, fourth house is also uh, the your inner happiness. You'll get happiness through financial growth, through uh, maybe a new job, uh, through uh, maybe helping other people, serving other people. Okay. And your personality, your outlook, your self-expression, uh, your uh, you know um, your development, personal development, all of that will be um, you know tied to your fourth house, your sixth house matters. Uh, so you, you'll you actually uh, feel very good while doing all of these things. And they'll, of course, bring financial growth as well. Okay. And then you are, you know, from here, from the sixth house, Jupiter is aspecting your second house and your 10th house. So it will give blessings. The guru will give blessings to all the second house matters, to all the 10th house matters. So your family wealth will improve. Your speech will improve. This is a perfect time to engage in speaking engagements. Uh, as we, we've been talking about the food. So your diet will improve. This is a great time actually to set up a new diet uh, routine. Uh, you'll have more sattvic diet. And this will give uh, expansion to your career. See, both your sixth house and the 10th house are uh, are activated. Sixth house is the job, like nine to five job. And 10th house is profession, career in general. And also if you do business, 10th house is for business. Uh, it'll give you more recognition. Uh, it'll improve your public image, although you will want to stay away from uh, the, the public eye because Ketu is transiting through your 10th house, but Jupiter will bring stability. Jupiter will say it's okay. It'll improve your public uh, image. It'll give stability to your career. It'll give expansion to your career. You'll think of more projects or even a new business, new job. It'll, give you, it'll make you very resilient. That's, that's what uh, Jupiter in Taurus does. It will make you very determined and strong and optimistic and you'll have faith and uh, positive energies. So overall, uh, all of these areas will be impacted in a very positive way and also uh, positive in terms of uh, material success, but also in terms of, uh, you know, having a spiritual inclination. So that's the sign of Sagittarius. Uh, uh, Jupiter in the sign of Taurus. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel um, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. Now we'll talk about the sign of Capricorn, uh, the number 10 sign. Um, so it could be your Lagna or it could be your Rashi, both. Uh, now we're talking about the transit of Jupiter through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So one full year. It's a long transit. Um, it, it impacts a lot of areas of our lives. Jupiter rules two different houses. Jupiter has aspect on two other houses uh, and it's sitting in the fifth house. So at least five different major houses are impacted. So almost you can say half of your uh, you know, chart is impacted. So a very big transit. Uh, please uh, listen to the intro section. That's very important before you um, listen to this section because we talked about Jupiter, we talked about Taurus, we talked about the trinal relationship with Ketu. So those things are very important, very useful information. And then come to this section. And if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications. Um, all right, so let's uh, dive into the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn, Jupiter will be transiting through your fifth house in the sign of Taurus. Okay, uh, while in Taurus, Jupiter will be trying to Ketu. That means uh, they'll have they'll be influencing each other. And for Capricorn, Jupiter is the third house ruler and the twelfth house ruler. And sitting in the fifth house, Jupiter will be aspecting your Lagna and your ninth house. So Jupiter will have fifth aspect on your ninth house and it'll have ninth aspect on your Lagna. So a very, very key transition, a key transit happening for Capricorn people. A very positive one because your Lagna is involved. 
Uh, so, so first of all, Jupiter is sitting in the fifth house. This in the sign of Taurus. This will bring wisdom to your children. Your children will get the spiritual, the blessings of Guru, of the Jupiter. They'll also have, you know, blessings of Ketu. So they will go inwards. They'll be interested in deep spirituality. This is the time to introduce them to spirituality if they're not already doing spiritual things. Um, this will bring uh, growth in finances uh, for your children. They may grow financially if they are already earning and things like that. Or um, this is a good time to work with them on some projects that will uh, bring financial gains. Okay, uh, This will bring uh, more stability and security in your relationship with your children. Your children may become more resilient, more strong. This is the sign of Taurus we're talking about. And so when Jupiter goes over this sign in the fifth house, um, this will activate the energies of Taurus, right? So uh, they'll feel more stable and secure and resilient and determined. Um, they'll have more, uh, more strength, especially strength coming from a spiritual foundation. They'll be more optimistic and have more faith. <coughs> And all those things will also apply to your uh, romantic partner. You'll have more opportunities in uh, you know, finding new people. Um, and your romantic relationship will blossom. It'll have more spiritual foundation. Uh, you both will uh, work towards some financial goals, make some financial progress, um, material success, but also with a spiritual mind. Okay. Uh, you may actually undertake some speculative, uh, you know, uh, investments. Uh, this this is a um, you know favorable for that. Of course, this is not financial advice at all, uh, but these are just indications. Okay. So overall, uh, expansion of your romantic relationships, um, and also you'll get intuition as to who to believe, who to trust, uh, because uh, Ketu is. In trines, so Ketu is intuition. So even though, so there, yes, there'll be expansion. You'll you may meet a lot of people in terms of uh, romantic relationships, but you'll make decisions based on your intuition. You'll have the blessings of the guru, and you'll have intuition of Ketu. So that's a really powerful combination, and that applies to your children also. You'll be very very creative. This is the time to show your creativity, bring it out to the world. Work on a lot of creative projects that will bring you financial growth, financial gains. Okay, And this will also, um, you can actually do those things with your children or with your romantic partner. And then Jupiter is the third house ruler and the 12th house ruler. So opportunities to be creative uh, with foreign people, maybe uh, some foreign projects, trips, uh, you're doing some creative projects there. A lot of room for creativity in your spiritual uh, practices, connecting with the ancestors, doing astral travel. Be very creative in all those areas. Okay, uh, you could go on a retreat, and wonderful time uh, for your communication with other people. So you'll be wise. Uh, you know, when you communicate with other people, you'll come across as a very wise person uh, that has, uh, you know, spiritual grounding foundation, and that is come uh, speaking from uh, intuition. So good time to expand your communication. Focus on how to network with other people. Uh, you'll have courage to deal with day-to-day -day issues. And, uh, you know, third house, fifth house connected. There's a connection in third house and fifth house. That means really powerful time to learn some new skills. Be very creative, as I said, in the fifth house. And then third house is about uh, the new skills that we learn. So wonderful time to develop some new skills. Okay. Uh, do things with your siblings. Um, your, your relationship with your siblings will grow. It'll have more spiritual foundation. You may actually uh, do things uh, for spiritual, for financial gains also, like do, work on some projects with your siblings. Okay. So sitting in the fifth house, Jupiter is actually aspecting your Lagna. So overall, you, Lagna is you, your personality, um, yourself. This will make you feel more comfortable, more wise, you know, more spiritual grounding. It's the Ketu and Jupiter in trans to your Lagna. You'll feel that place of, uh, you know, strength. You'll feel that strength from within. 
and you'll have more intuition. Okay. And then ninth house is activated in a big way. Ketu is sitting there and Jupiter is trying to that. Jupiter is having the fifth aspect on your ninth house. So you will actually find some very, um, you know, gurus who are really uh, could be traditional, some kind of lineage you may, you may follow. Uh, or, you know, uh, Ketu is real deep spirituality, no fluff. So you may meet gurus like that and they'll give you, uh, you know, that may also, all these things may also bring uh, financial gains. Okay. Your relationship with your father may turn more spiritual. So Ketu in the ninth house. And good time for long distance travels, for traveling abroad, because both the ninth house and the twelfth house are activated. So perfect time to go on a retreat, to go on a pilgrimage. Uh, and those things overall will also bring financial gains because it's the uh, it's the sign of Taurus we're talking about. So Jupiter will get all the energies, uh, you know, of the sign of Taurus because uh, the sign it represents the environment. So Jupiter will absorb, you know, get all of those qualities of Taurus and then give you results in a very wise manner, which Jupiter is the guru and also based on intuition uh, being trines to Ketu. So overall, that's uh, the energy for the sign of Capricorn. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications. Next, we'll talk about the sign of Aquarius. So we're talking about the transit of Jupiter through the sign of Taurus um, from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So this is a, a long transit. A very, very important transit. Major shifts will be happening for you. Absolutely wonderful time uh, in many areas of life. Uh, so before we dive into Aquarius, please listen to the intro section. Very important. Uh, in the intro section, we talked about Jupiter, we talked about Taurus, and we talked about the trinal uh, aspect of Ketu. So those things are the foundation. Please uh, listen to that and then come back to this section. Uh, and if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications. So what's happening for Tor uh, for Aquarius? Uh, for the sign of Aquarius, which could be Lagna or your Rashi, which means rising sign or the moon sign, Jupiter will be going through your fourth house, transiting through your fourth house. Absolutely fantastic uh, trans trans transit. Uh, and Jupiter is trines to Ketu. Sitting in the fourth house, it's trines to Ketu. We'll talk about that. And Jupiter rules your second house and Jupiter rules your 11th house. So Jupiter is the planet of money, money, money. Okay, so <laughs> 11th house is financial gains. Um, second house is our family wealth accumulated resources. So Jupiter is a very important planet for you for money. And it's going through the sign of money, which is Taurus. Okay, um, and then... Sitting in the fourth house, Jupiter is aspecting your eighth house and your twelfth house. So this is, you know, absolutely fantastic time for both financial success and spiritual progress. We'll talk about that. Uh, so first of all, Jupiter is in your fourth house. Wherever Jupiter goes, it gives you expansion. So this will, uh, you may uh, buy a new home, a bigger home, uh, good time uh, for investment in real estate, and. Uh, this will improve your relationship with your mother. You'll feel inner happiness. You'll feel a lot of uh, like things will become clear who you are, what you want to do in life. You know, what gives you inner happiness? Those questions will get answered. Uh, you should, you know, make your home as a sanctuary. Do a lot of meditation sitting in your home. Jupiter will give you uh, expansion and stability and security. That's Taurus. You'll feel more resilient, very, very confident in your home. And all of those things will bring financial gains. Uh, so this will be a good period for financial success. It just be, simply because it's the second Lord and the 11th Lord going in the sign, just the fact of uh, going in the sign of Taurus will bring financial gains for you. Okay, And you may buy new vehicles. So all the things, the comforts, uh, the things that give you comfort and um, enjoyment those things will improve. There'll be financial gains, but also Jupiter is in trines to Ketu. That means you'll have intuition. All of the decisions that you make, all of the things that you do, you will do based on intuition, not just any you know, haphazard action, not just uh, like taking action, mindless action. You'll have uh, intuition coming in from Ketu. 
market. So your family wealth will expand. Uh, you'll have uh, more financial gains. Good time for speaking engagements. Good time to improve your diet and food. Jupiter is the Satvic planet, the second house ruler. Uh, that's the food that you eat. Jupiter is also uh, going to expand your social network. You'll have, you know, uh, networking opportunities. And, and the good thing is, uh, it's not just going to be, you know, go out and try to find 100 people on social network. All of those networking uh, opportunities and social, uh, the friends that you make will be uh, grounded in spirituality. Okay, They'll be wise. That's the Jupiter and trinal aspect of Ketu on Jupiter. So you'll de develop very wise and, uh, you know, good friendships. Uh, so perfect time for you to go out and network and reach out to a lot of people and do things for uh, the humanity, like the 11th house is helping the masses. Okay, so so that's the uh, uh, the 11th Lord sitting in the fourth house. You may actually bring a lot of friends home, you know, for like dinners and things like that. A uh, lot of social gatherings, uh, discussion of spiritual subjects, you know, organized maybe like, mini retreats or discussions or uh, like you know uh, like uh, women's circles things like that at your home bring in your friends and also sitting in the fourth house now jupiter is aspecting your eight thousand twelfth house that is fantastic so your moksha trikona is activated moksha trikona is the fourth house eight thousand twelfth house that's all about change and transformation and spirituality, deep spirituality, do a lot of meditation. You will get insights, you'll get intuition, you'll get messages from the other worlds of existence, other planes of existence. You'll get messages from ancestors, um, astral travel, energy healing, deep healing, deep transformation. Um, and I highly recommend do some kind of retreats, either at home or uh, like a pilgrimage abroad. Okay, that'll give you a lot of change and transformation. So your 4th, 8th, and 12th are activated. And they're activated uh, by the two most spiritual planets, Jupiter and Ketu. And so it's not just going to be all spirituality. It's also going to be financial growth, financial gains, because it's Jupiter is in the sign of Taurus. So the whole theme for Taurus, the whole energy that Taur uh, that Jupiter is uh, is. Uh, is getting all the energy from Taurus, which is about financial security, financial uh, uh, wealth, uh, material gains, things like that. So excellent combination, uh, excellent balance between the financial gains and spiritual progress. So focus on all these things. Um, and so, as I mentioned, a lot of areas of life are going to be impacted in a positive way uh, with a spiritual foundation. Okay. So that's uh, the sign of Aquarius, how Jupiter's transit in the sign of Taurus is going to be for Aquarius, Lagna or Rashi. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications. Uh, and please watch the intro section if you haven't already. That's very important. A lot of important things. Okay. So now we'll talk about the sign of Pisces. Uh, how the Jupiter's transit through the sign of Taurus will impact Pisces, Pisces Lagna as well as Pisces Rashi. So rising sign Pisces, uh, Pisces or your moon sign is Pisces. You can watch this section. Uh, so Jupiter will go through the sign of Taurus from May 1st, 2024 through May 14th, 2025. So one full year. It's a long transit. It's a big major shift happening. Okay. So Jupiter is going from your third house to your fourth, uh, sorry, from your second house to your third house. So Jupiter will be in your third house. Um, please listen to the intro section uh, before diving deep into the Pisces uh, specifically. Uh, intro section, we talked about Jupiter, we talked about Taurus, we talked about the trinal aspect of Ketu. So very important um, tips and uh, recommendations overall. Uh, and then come back to the section of Pisces. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also uh, make sure to hit the bell icon so you get the notifications. Um, and so Jupiter will be going through your third house in the sign of Taurus. And Jupiter is the Lagna Lord. It's a very important planet. So we watch very closely all the transits of your Lagna Lord, no matter which Lagna it is or, uh, or the Rashi Lord. Right. So Jupiter is your Lagna Lord or your Rashi Lord. Um, and also it's the ruler of your 10th house. So a very, very important planet for you. So any transit of Jupiter impacts you 
uh, in a lot of areas of life. Um, and then sitting in the third house, Jupiter will be aspecting your seventh house of relationships and 11th house. So we'll talk about all of that. So let's begin with Jupiter's transit in the third house in the sign of uh, Taurus. Uh, this will bring expansion to your communication. Okay, Expansion in your relationship with your siblings. You may actually do some financial projects, uh, things uh, together with your siblings. Good time for that. Uh, this will bring, of course, stability in your finances, security, uh, but also you'll be very courageous. Jupiter in the third house will help you be courageous um, and, uh, and especially in day-to-day -day challenges, in dealing with day-to-day -day issues. A very good time for you to uh, go on short distance, you know, travels, like say within the city to meet a lot of people. Okay. And we're talking about third house and also trines to the 11th house. Uh, so 11th house is social network and reaching out to, you know, people and friends, all of that. And third house is uh, communication. And, uh, uh, and so good time for you to develop your network, let's say within the city, that's third house, but also uh, on the social media. Okay, so let's say you do, uh, you offer some, you, you're a healer or anything, or uh, you're a, you work insurance industry and any kind of uh, client work you do and you want more clients, right? So within the city, go join some uh, or attend some uh, events, okay? Join some organizations, join some sangha. And uh, so all the short distance travels for you will be very, very rewarding uh, financially. And all of that that you do will have a spiritual inclination because it's trying to Ketu. Okay. Develop some new skills, learn some new skills. That's the third house. You'll have blessings and those skills will give you financial gains. Okay. And then Jupiter is the Lagna Lord. Okay. So all your focus, Lagna Lord is you. Your focus will be on the third house matters. So uh, develop more, you know, better relationship with your siblings. Um, and focus on developing new skills, okay, and focus on your communication. And Jupiter is the 10th ruler sitting in the third house. So you'll have financial gains in your career, in your profession. You'll have better uh, public image because Jupiter is uh, going to give you, uh, you know, expansion. And, and that, that will bring financial gains as well. Okay, so this could be a time to start a new business or a new venture or a new project uh, or just shine at your career. So essentially the, the, the focus in your career will be more financial gains and rewards. How you can bring in more money. Okay. It's the 10th house activated and your 11th house activated. 10th house of your career, 11th is the gains from your career, financial gains. So uh, in a big way, really good time to focus on your career, uh, setting up, developing your business. Um, and those things will bring in more money. And that will have, all of this will have a spiritual foundation. Plus, you'll actually have intuition of Ketu. You'll have success in developing your career through your intuition. So follow your intuition, follow your gut feeling. Okay. And at the same time, uh, Jupiter will be aspecting your seventh house. Your relationships will expand. But uh, one caution is, you know, because Ketu is sitting there as well. So uh, make sure all your relationships or one-on-one -on -one partnerships, they have a very spiritual foundation. Otherwise, Ketu will try to cut off the things. Okay. So, so essentially, Ketu will uh, make you detached with any kind of relationships or partnerships that are not serving you, that are not do not have a spiritual foundation. So be careful with that. Um, okay, so th this will give this is a good time to work with your partner, uh, and that'll bring financial gains. That'll bring expansion. So expansion of your relationships is possible. Um, there'll be more stability and security in your relationships as long as they are uh, based on a spiritual foundation. You'll feel more optimistic uh, about your relationships. You'll have more faith and uh, you know uh, optimism when it comes to relationships and your social circle 11th house okay so so the caution is especially in the in the area of one on one partnerships you want to be very careful and very selective in choosing your partner otherwise ketu will cut it off so very careful means uh, make sure 
that you're develop, developing partnership with people who are wise, you know, like gurus and people who have a good, solid spiritual foundation, uh, inclination towards doing spiritual things. So if you do spiritual things with your partner, this is going to be a very, very fantastic period for you. So that's the overall energy for Jupiter in the sign of Taurus for this full year from May 2024 through May 2025. Uh, for the sign of Pisces. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also, uh, please uh, uh, hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications. And uh, if you haven't already, please watch the intersection uh, for all of the signs, uh, very important points in the intersection.